Coriander Society Adventures. John Carmichael and Asena are stranded within the mental mindscape of Ralzamon, Master of the Unknown, as he reveals to them the terrible truths that he beheld the day that he was transformed and transcended his mortal coil. Will our heroes escape from the inside of his brain? Will they be able to defeat him once and for all? Find out now on another episode of Coriander Society Adventures. Welcome back. Woo. When last we left our heroes, inside the mindscape, of Ralzamon, you beheld the moment in which Josiah Parsons transcended through this ritual that the Army of the Eclipse performed, and his body was discorporated, his mind transcended through reality, and he beheld for a moment the shattered fragments and the gaps between all dimensions and all realities. And as he looked into the abyss, the abyss gazed back at him, and he beheld those ancient powerful entities lurking between worlds waiting to consume and destroy the elder evils that threaten all of creation loom their shadows even now their echoes loom all around you threats on a scale the likes of which you have never beheld before asana you just punched uh josiah parsons yeah with your first attack it's still uh -huh. your turn uh mm, we're not gonna fight these guys right we're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna shift into a new dimension, right? If Ralzamon, master of the unknown, was able to knowingly summon aspects of the elder evils that unknowingly plague our world, no, no, I. This is either a false image meant to disturb us, or we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> we're not dead yet, so uh... I'm gonna keep pressing on. However, okay. John does look at each of the aspects of the terrors in turn, making mm -hmm. note of those he does know, and... Which one? Which ones are you looking at, Matt? Tell me who you're looking at. Well, uh, you know, just start with the ones that are closest to him. We've got, you know, Senefolker here. He recognizes that one. Okay. Uh, we've got on the one aspect second, of that. Please. Oh, oh, okay. second, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Oh, you're actually doing an effect if I look at one of them. Well, that's fantastic. Wonderful. Yep. Great. As you gaze upon it, this giant floating... Uh, horror ripped untimely from another world, enormous in scope. You can feel the life being drained from you merely by exposure. You take 3d6 necrotic damage. The more you pay attention Ooh. to it, the more real its presence becomes, the more simulated its presence becomes. Take nine that points of necrotic fantastic. damage. Fantastic. I am resistant to necrotic damage. So take I'll take four, four points of necrotic high. damage. <laughs> John is going to uh, immediately say, Asena, and he like reaches over, grabs hold of her face, looks her eye to eye. Do not look at any of these beings. Don't listen to them. Don't even. All you see is Rosamond. Understand? Do not listen to any of them. All Just look at Josiah. See... Kill look Josiah. At Josiah. Yes. I thought I did. Yeah, he's gone. Keep doing that. <laughs> Keep doing. How that. can I look at somebody who's gone? John takes a quick look around. Is Josiah Parsons or Ralsama Master of the Known anywhere around here? No, you think this spiraling vortex of psychic energy that's tearing apart your mind might be all that's left of the shadow of Josiah Parsons. I think so we this, have to get it's still out of here. Asena's turn on John's turn. I'll let you make a check if you want. Okay, no, I was just asking, is this still this guy? I see full hit points. Is he still a thing? No, he's gone. Let me let me just Okay. Cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gonzo. Asena, what do you do? Um, um, I'm going to try and jump out of this vortex. What, what is that face? What is wrong with you? I am, I am, I am so upset with Mama Shimada right now. <laughs> I am so profoundly unhappy right now. Wait, what is that? She what is that? What did she play? Ninja info cards. <laughs> yeah! Thank you, Mama Shamada. So both of you may pick yeah. one character or combatant of your choice and gain information about them. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> this is so bad. Uh, the two of you I choose Senna Polker. You choose Senna Polker? 
I don't okay. know, are we? Well, we already know things about Sennepulchre. I was going to say, there's two entities here we don't know anything about. I choose the one that's... This one, one over here? Yeah. Okay. I choose the one opposite end. The no, you only get one. There's only one. Oh, I thought you said we each get one. You said we one. each you, get I said, one. I, I meant to say each of you vote is what oh. I said. Each of you oh. vote. Decide which of these I creatures. don't think that's what you said. It's what I meant. Mm. It's what it, it's how it works. Oh, okay. okay. This okay. is okay. important. I'm not a fairy, so deal with it. All right. So d wait, sorry. Did we did we say this one up here? Is that the one that's blue, 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 blue? Actually, no. there's a couple of them that are kind of blue, 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 blue. I was going to say. Wait, so which, which one is, was the same of voting on? If you combat stats on a known threat. Yeah, we could target the, the the swirly thing. The swirly thing? Oh, yeah, I suppose we could. We have to get out of the swirly thing. I think after Which, that. We we can absolutely do that. It's probably going to explode into a new Ralzamon form. He's not going to be gone forever. That's uh, okay. I just want to be away from these things. This is an opportunity for you to gain unprecedented information about one of the Elder Evils. Yes. Which could help yes, you plot its destruction. The two of you must decide. Before so here's you decide, the thing. I'm going to point, I'm gonna point over to at this thing. Character. Okay. At what thing? I'm going to point at this thing. I'm like, do you know what that is? Don't look at it. It's the chronophage. <laughs> I'm not looking. John just starts pointing is? towards directions. There's an enormous dragon over here. That's Kor. There's an enormous weird worm over here. That's the Chronophage. There's a weird, headless, crazy being down here. It's an aspect of Atropus. Okay, There's... fine. You know a lot of them. Just choose. Uh, this thing. Whatever that thing is. I have no idea what that even looks like. Ah. And as Ralzamon's discarded psychic energy rolls around you, it flows through your head giving you a fragment of what he beheld for the moment that his mind could hold all of this together. That is the dream larva. Oh, goody. The dream larva is an entity thought to be born from the very first nightmare, a nightmare that killed a god in its sleep. It dwells within the very heart of dream itself, and it is a nasty, nasty creature. And I'm just going to drop it in your... Um, journals and i'm going to give you control of it so you can see its stats uh but Rude. you can't actually control it so you know dream larva ew why is it doing this shouldn't be how did she direct it what the heck huh huh that's very weird Oh, well, I'll just post its stats later. It doesn't seem to be working. Uh, anyways, it's got 468 hit points. It can fly at 120 feet. The first time you come within 30 feet of it, you have to roll, and you can see it. You have to roll a saving throw. I can throw. see it. Are you within 30 feet of it? No, I'm just saying I can see the sheet. Oh, it wor it's working for you? Yeah, I just couldn't show it to yeah. chat for some reason. Oh, uh, I got it. Oh, yeah, here, here it goes. Yeah, drink that in. And the DM gets some XP. Aha! It, somehow Matt did not understand what that meant. Matt, you're muted. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> this looks fun. Yeah, so congratulations. You just discovered the stat block of an elder evil you weren't aware of. It's another abomination. born. From, it's, it's a god fragment because it was born from a god's nightmare. So it is a slight deity. And I where does like it that. usually hang out? It dwells in the very heart of dream itself. Oh, oh. that's scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What if, what if what if we find it in a dream? Well, the fact that it appeared here indicates that at some point you might. I'm gonna accidentally summon it by thinking. Don't think about it. It can happen. It can happen. <laughs> if, if, if you have dreams about it, who knows what'll happen? <laughs> All right, so lock that in your brain for future reference. Asena, it is still your turn. You threw one punch and you're inside of a giant glowing sphere of psychic energy. You don't see Ralzamon anywhere. You just see the el the echoes of the elder evils closing in around you. Yeah. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to try and jump punch out of this okay. sphere. 
All right, where are you going to jump to? Away! <laughs> <laughs> just jumping straight up. Just jumping straight up? Well, I guess I don't want to land right. Yeah, because if I jump straight up and succeed getting out of it, then I can glide okay. over here. Yeah. Roll an athletics check yeah, to make yeah, a standing safe. jump. Yeah, that's a great rock. That's a fantastic rock. I, I can't tell if you're sarcastic or not. What? Oh, no. I, I... <laughs> well, let's be honest. It's, it's, no, it's no Rocco, but it'll have to do in a pinch. That's an amazing rock. It'll be a very, very fun time when you go there. <laughs> Would you say athletics? Athletics, yeah. To get the hoot. The yep. hoot. You successfully hoot your way over to that rock if that's where you want to be. Oh. You only get like 10 feet of, which jumping straight up 10 feet is, you know, quite the athletic feet. But you only get like 10 feet of altitude, so you can't go too far, but you can definitely reach that rock if that's where you want to go. Well, I was trying to like jump punch slash like, a, like punch attack this thing. Oh, you want to, you want to punch the psychic energy? Yeah. yeah. F it. Roll. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I had graphics, animated graphics turned off. This is radical. Like, this is oh, you have so it turned on now? Cool. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's a lot better. It's right. amazing. Uh, saying the bad news is that you only rolled an 11. Good news is it's just a bubble of psychic energy. So okay. you punch it and it spreads. Oh. Well, that's bad. That's not good news. I mean... Maybe it is. What if it, it does? Does it look weaker now that it's been spread out across a larger area? Yes. Keep punching it. <laughs> well, if I can make it bigger, then maybe it'll. Maybe, I'm not thinking about them. And Don't gonna... think about them. Just keep punching. <laughs> One punch. Two punch. Three punch. Ah ah ah. <laughs> All right. You've used um, your second attack. You haven't used your bonus action yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna spin and then punch down. Okay. Roll the attack. Nice. nice. Yep, it continues to expand. Getting closer and closer to the echo of Senepulker. Also, the resolution on this graphic is gonna go down as I continue to do this, and that's just the way it is. <laughs> hey, you know what? A I'm gonna that... spend a focus point. You're gonna do it? Yeah. Okay, roll the attack. Another 26. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it continues to expand, and I believe that's gonna end your turn, right? Yeah. Okay. Yay. Lawrence Booker Green, seeing all of this going down, Seeing what it is that you're doing is going to. John shouts out, I think it goes without saying, but do not look at anything that isn't us. And Lawrence Booker Green looks directly at Kur, the dragon oh, of the void. God. Stares right at it. And because of his dark knowledge, because of his forbidden lore, he's going to make an Arcana check at plus 3d4. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> does he have any inspiration? <laughs> uh, let's find out. I don't think he does. Wow, that is tragically bad. Yeah, he does not have any inspiration. Uh, John has one inspiration left. You gonna give and it to him? When he, when he sees what Lawrence Booker Green is doing, trying to gaze mm -hmm. into John's eternal enemy, the eternal dragon, Kur. Yeah, John is going to reach out and impart a sense of John's resolve against destroying this creature, sending out his mm -hmm. infernal energy as it's been bolstered by Tiamat to bring this creature and prevent it from returning to the world. And yes, he's gonna grant him advantage on it. Okay, the will of Tiamat be done. Oh, it's not it's better. Much better. A total of 21, however. And as he 
takes this risk, this moment to look at one of the most dangerous entities in all of reality. He takes this risk to learn as much as he can about it. Will he face the consequences? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Oh my God. What? I just learned something very cool about the dream larva. What's that? <laughs> it's not immune to fear. <laughs> That's incredible. And if God isn't immune to fear, that means a lot of things probably aren't just immune to it. You know what John can do, right? Fear? Yeah. Okay. As he gazes upon Kur, Kur's void energy floods the entire battlefield. Nobody... You know what? Let's give you this healing boost first, Asana. Chat played a big healing oh. boost at, that kicked in earlier. Roll 84 plus 8 and recover that much. Oh, wow. By the way, upon further upon further review, it uh, has a plus 19 cross save, so <laughs> that's why it's not immune to fear. And it's legendary basically. resistance, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so heal 30 hit points, and now that the power of Kur has been slightly manifested, nobody on the battlefield can regain hit points. Oh! Excuse me? Yeah. Kur's was that only a Sana, or did John get any of that? That was just Excuse an Asana heal. Cool, cool. Understandable. Have it was played on Asana. And yeah, now now that Kur's been partially manifested, nobody can regain any hit points. Even if chat wills it to be so? Even if chat wills it to be so. Oh my. That's how powerful Kur is. Having wow. gazed into the abyss, uh, Lawrence is going to click his heels together, activate his boots of levitation, and then push himself off into the heart of the void, bringing his big ass snake with him uh, into this swirling vortex of energy. And he is going to roll a intelligence saving throw. Which he succeeds on, so he's going to take half of this psychic damage. He takes 10 points of psychic damage, which he can't heal for reasons. And then he sees what everyone else is doing to try to grow this thing. He's like, that is a good idea, Sena. I'm going to get in on this. Thank and you. he will cast... Scorching Ray to hit it three times. Ooh. Wow. Wait, is is Lawrence finally hitting something? <laughs> yes, Lawrence finally <laughs> hit something, and it's something that's almost impossible to miss. So I'm still gonna roll these because if he gets a crit, it's double, and if he gets a one, then you know sucks to suck. But yeah, yeah, yeah. And he got no John has an inspiration on the field. Yeah. And the DM has Who is that disadvantage? Oh, it's for you. Yeah. Yeah, it's for me. All but right. Because Lawrence is on your team, that would defy the point of it. So I'm not going to give no. it. No. Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't think All that. Right. So oh. three Scorching Rays, and then it is John's turn again. Actually, yeah, it is John's turn. And because you're going to start your turn in the synaptic static, it's you're just going to keep weathering some damage. Okay. Oh, oh wait a minute. Uh, Mate. What? The Sailor and John took. Uh, wait. Intelligent saving throw. Never mind. Dang it. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Understandable. Okay, John, <laughs> roll an int save. Yep, 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 we're on it. Ooh, a natural, natural one, one, I think. One. I think not. <laughs> <laughs> what, what bullshit are you pulling out to negate this? Do just my other, my other lucky die. Just my... There's an inspiration chat just gave you. True. But the lucky die ends at the end of this encounter, so I'm going to go ahead and... Understandable, have a nice day. I'm going to use that. And, and then just add that... That's Ooh, hilarious. 12. Okay, well, I am going to use that inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Because a lucky die allows me to do that, and I better. There we go. Natural 20. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. You take no damage, and it reacts with your enormous brain and goes up Ooh. by one size. Yes. Spend all my resources. Yes. Lord. Ooh. Ooh, it's now it's now engulfing uh, mm -hmm. the uh, set of Volker. That's nice. It okay, is. cool. It is. However, you also started your turn within the negative energy aura of Cenepulker, which is manifested and partially real. Oh, damn. So you take nine points of necrotic damage. Half. Take four points of necrotic mm -hmm. damage. <laughs> All right, with your actions, what would you like to do? Well, am I able to notice how large this aura is? Yes. And get away from it? Um, cool. It's actually, no, because of this space, it seems to just be going beyond Everywhere. what it should be and just following oh. you because you made it real. Oh. However, well. as the static starts to interact with Senepulker, the image of it begins to like blur as if its face Ooh. 
not physically, but as if it's like a like a TV you're holding a magnet up to, an old TV CRT that you hold a magnet oh. up to, or just distorts. And sort of... So it kind of doesn't matter where John goes now. That's what I'm hearing. It, what matters is what you do. And what I am going to do is when its aura hits me uh, on my turn, John is going to use a reaction in order to activate uh, the Infernal Talisman, of which I still have charges, mm -hmm. and use a level 5 uh, Hellish Rebuke. Oh, on Cenepulcher? On the static. Oh, well, yeah, I guess on Cenepulcher. Can I, can I, can I re redirect to the static? Is that how the spell works? Mm, not necessarily, can no. you know what it is that I desire? <laughs> I don't have any more is the thing. <laughs> well, here's I'm, the problem. You just got to believe in out. me, which means that if somebody gives you an inspiring speech, then, you know, you can go beyond the impossible. Either anyone who gives it an inspiring speech to somebody else gives that, lets that person go beyond the impossible. John, are you giving the speech? Or are you asking for I the mean, speech from Asena? <laughs> oh, I could ask for Asena to give a speech? Yeah, that sounds amazing. Either let's you that. give a speech, whoever gives a speech to somebody else, gassing them up, Let's that other hero go beyond the impossible. Yours is the, is the drill that will pierce the heavens. John, just as he's formulating the energy, as he grasps hold of the talisman, he looks over at Asena, and in the instant where he's about to let it loose, he he just stares into her eyes in this, this long second stretching out over the eternity that they are floating within this weird middle ground space of not quite dream, not quite astral in this weird projected land. He pleads for some form of intervention. I really wish you could talk to me psychically, because <laughs> that would help. Are you okay? You good? And getting nothing. John uses hellish rebuke on the uh, <laughs> on the giant. I could. Thing. I could continue. All right, so you're going to go ahead and unleash that um, disadvantage on Elder Gods besides Tiamat has just been played. Well, that's helpful. You're going to unleash oh. a level oh. five Hellish Rebuke on Cenepulcher? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, <laughs> this, the, all right. Cenepulcher has advantage, but Cenepulcher has disadvantage because, so it's going to be a flat save. What type of save do I make? I believe it's an attack roll. Oh, no, it's not. It's, uh, let me see when this. Yeah, just drop, drop it in chat. Drop it at level five in chat. There we go. Uh, that'd be a... DC 17. Yeah, that damage uh, isn't, isn't kicking in. Actually, no, it's a DC 19 because that's using my... Uh, ah, okay. Not my, right now I'm set to Warlock, but that should be set to my my normal. Well, here's what happens when... Oh my god. Hey! Yeah. So I rolled a 19 and I got a 16 because it's the giant floating undead baby. It's not exactly very athletic. By the way, like, mate, agile. ignore yeah. this. Ignore the 12. The 12 is yeah, not a I know. It takes 23 points of fire damage. Oh, that is some sad damage right there. Yeah, that's some sad damage. That was your action. What else are you doing? Uh, well, shoot. Yeah, that. John's going to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> what are you shooting? John just pops a uh, another one of his warp spasms that he got from the New Dawn mm -hmm. and is going to go ahead and start blasting the uh, lightning that's around them. Okay, that's a magic gun. And you gun said that sword. the more damage you do, that it does more to it, right? Yeah, well, it, it really just matters on um, crits. So go ahead on and roll crits. the attacks. All right, well, let's let's see. Crit, please, crit, please. You have a double crit chance. Nope, not double crit chance there. Not double crit chance there. And then one final shot as we just full send and hope for the best. No, no crits, but all hits. Okay. As the psychic static grows and engulfs Cenepulcher, Cenepulcher vanishes. All right. You did it. We did it, and that's just one of many. We have a lot of uh, of entities here. So we just May need to keep making this ball bigger and it'll all go away. But we also need to get these things closer because I'm not sure if we'll be able to survive without drawing these entities closer to us. So we may need to switch gears and start looking at them to get them to come to us. Looking at them. Bringing them into the existence, as it were. Is that why you I were looking at me? I was hoping you could give me some sort of, uh, you know, you, you're able to mess with the astral. I was hoping you could mess with what was happening here. Oh, why don't you just ask? Because I had like a second. I don't think I'd be able to grasp such an idea with my mortal mouth. Oh. 
I need to learn how to be able to talk psychically like you do, and unless you initiate, unfortunately, I have no way of uh, communicating such an idea. We should come up with, like, a hand signal. Almost as if I looked directly into your eyes, pleading for some form of assistance. Yeah, I didn't really get that. Yeah, I, just, I understood. <laughs> that being said, uh, let's just kick the crap out of this weird lightning storm until we defeat everything around us. Okay. John, did you- By the way, rouse them on, you coward! Quit using lightning to do your dirty work. Did you uh, end your turn, John? Yeah, and then my turn. Okay, Asena, you start your turn inside the psychic sphere of uh, synaptic static. Roll an oh, intelligence yeah. saving throw, please. Okay. Oh. Enjoy 26 points of psychic damage. Oh, no. All right. But Slakura can heal, right? Oh, Slakura. wait, no, there's no healing Nobody period. Can heal. All healing is oh, deactivated. No. And he already healed me. Oh, no. What do I do? What do I do? What do you do? You can just keep attacking it and making it bigger, or you can try a creative solution. The choice is yours. <laughs> I mean, I feel like getting out of it and attacking it, it might be a, a good idea. Oh. We don't want to be in here anymore? I mean, I'm not having too bad of a time, but you appear to be uh, suffering. You have, what? You're almost <laughs> bloodied. <laughs> Excuse me? I mean, you've got nose literally, like, pulling out of your ears and eyes right now. Gross. Yeah, exactly. John, you've been given well, okay. inspiration, and there's still a believe in me on the field. Ooh. All right. John is going to uh, take hold of Asena's face once more, looking her in the eyes. We'll come up with a hand gesture later. For now, just know that you are the dragon of Zoquia. You are an aspect of Gotharius, the silver dragon that is able to pierce through time and space, spreading knowledge and collecting information across the cosmos. This is nothing that you can't handle. Get out there. Get the attention of all of these entities. Bring them close and using their power and the power of Ralzamon's incredibly childish scheme, have them reverberate and destroy all each other. Do you understand? Uh-huh. You got this. Go. I got it. Okay. Asena, you can go beyond the impossible. What are you going to try to do? Um... I am going to jump out. Let's okay. See. I'm going to jump out. All right. You jump out. Go and ahead and do that. It just happens. Well, I'm going to jump out. I'm going to spread my wings. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to like sort of fly around okay. the swirl. You're going to fly around the swirl. And what are you going to do as you fly around? I'm going to yell at everyone to look at me. <laughs> okay. You fly around in circles yelling, look at me, look at me, look at me. But as you do, the psychic winds in this place trail around you, almost like a comet soaring through the sky. And as you move, it is not you that they see. <gasps> they see <laughs> the astral image of Gultharius, the traveler in mist, the rainbow pilgrim, soaring in circles. Oh my gosh. Asena. Okay. Yeah. Roll to use Goltharius' disintegration breath. <laughs> that is 12d10 force damage. I wish I had popcorn right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's tragic, really. <laughs> okay. Goltha the the disintegration breath of Goltharius streams out in crackling, multicolored light. Each creature in that line rolls that save. Half on a success. Large or smaller non-magical items that aren't being worn or carried are just disintegrated into dust. And everything else has a 10 foot by 10 foot space carved through it. So... And because that did 57 points of damage, the sphere expands by 5. Ooh. How's that for beyond the impossible? That's pretty darn like good. That. And the shadow of Gotharius vanishes. Oh my gosh. And roll an intimidation check. <laughs> because I was yelling, look at me. 
Exactly. Look at me, look at me, look at me. You don't want to mess with me. Dragon fear washes over the battlefield. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I can do better than that. Okay. <laughs> all right, all of, with a 22, all of the Elder Evils are going to move 10 feet closer. So they're going to move two squares closer, which is enough to bring this thing, whatever it is, partially into the area. Kura Dragon of the Void gets closer. The Dream Larva drifts in closer. And uh, whatever this thing, this weird shadowy thing down here is, move closer. So you've baited them all closer and you've massively expanded the sphere. Oh my God, it's getting, it's, oh, it's getting, it's that, getting fast. It's getting... That was your movement and your bonus action to make that check. You still have an action. Oh gosh. What do you want to do? Um... That was so freaky. My computer spiked for a second and this glowing lightning sphere went so fast for like three seconds and then stopped. <laughs> so I have an action. Mm hmm An equivalent exchange card has been played. <gasps> Ooh, what'd that do? Equivalent exchange. You may sacrifice something, an item, action, resource, or something else in exchange for something of similar or equal value. <laughs> what are you, what, what, <laughs> what? What's about to happen to me? What if I pull out a glow stick? What do you want in exchange for a glow stick? Something really awesome. It, it Can I be a part of this? equally valuable as a glow stick. The glow stick Can is I... very valuable to me. Can I be a part of this? Can I be a part of this? You may discuss amongst the party. This is a, a party resource that may be discussed out of character amongst the party. We have a vote on the field for a glow stick. John grasps the glow stick that's in Asana's hand. Let me do this. Let me give an offering and amplify your power. Okay, but the glow stick is very powerful. I understand, and I'll use it as a focus to make my exchange. I have three of them. <laughs> Very you well. You only need one. I'm not taking this. I, you're going you're gonna to hold on to it. Uh, oh. Do you trust me? Yeah. Okay. Mate, you said that by uh, doing the 50 points of damage from the breath, it was able to expand it by a degree of five, right? Mm-hmm. What if John was able to expend all his remaining 79 hit points, all of his remaining life force? and pump it into this attack for Asena. Plus the, okay, into Asena's attack? Yes. Okay, so John passes out and the glow stick's light goes out and Asena goes, the astral energy glowing around you, the lingering power of Gotharius as John's spell energy surrounds you as he puts all of his life force into it and falls unconscious. You are burning with silver fire, Asena. He's not dead, but he just gave all of his hit points and dropped to zero, falling unconscious. What? <laughs> Your next attack is going to be gnarly. What Mate, can like we say do? that as part of this, John takes a knee and just goes down? Yeah. John, what did you gun. do? As he's passing out, John's gonna put the gun to his head and take a knee and just say, <laughs> like looking up at her as he's passing out, it's gonna be okay, I believe in you. Well, I don't even know what to attack. John says Lawrence nothing. says, Just... we're in his mind. We're in his mind. Attack it. Just like you did before. I, I'll, I'm, I'm gonna jump out of the circle. Okay. And try to punch the circle again. Okay. Because John had, you had 79 hit points plus a glow stick, right? Okay. Yes. Asanda, that's going to give you eight extra attacks. Eight? Oh. Eight extra Hello. attacks. So roll 10 attacks and just see if any of them create a natural one. Okay. Because otherwise they all hit. Holt, there's a natural one. <laughs> oh, God, don't do this to me. That was my sacrifice. 
Okay, Three hits. Good. Four hits. Five By my hits. math, as long as you hit five, six you hits. should get everyone. Okay, good. Seven hits. You get eight, two right? more rolls. One, two, three. Oh, you said ten? Yeah, ten total. Because you got... Oh! <laughs> All right. You scored eight hits as you just unleash your fury against Ralzamon's pathetic mind. Two, three, Does that include the bonus four, action attacks? Five. Well, uh, use the bonus action to intimidate everyone into getting closer. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Six, seven, eight. Get this nice and centered. Wait, that doesn't look any bigger. Dude, I just expanded it by eight. <laughs> I know, but it was touching them last time. That doesn't look very much bigger for eight. Yeah, you moved the center. Because it was like last time it was barely touching core, and now it's still barely touching <laughs> well, core. Okay, okay, so what's going on with that is that there's some empty space around the edges of the graphics, but you know what? That's fine. I'm going to say that you all, as you just keep punching, the light expands and glows and expands and glows. And then when it fades, you are once more inside the tunnels and John is at zero hit points. But uh, actually, elder... John is at one hit point. Why is that? As soon as John gives all his life force, John's spell tattoo, Death Ward, activates and he's left with one hit point. Nice. Okay. I have not gotten to use it because in the course of the campaign, John has never been dropped. To one because you point. always have nonsense that you can play. <laughs> yes, exactly. And chat just makes it worse. Okay, you are within the tunnels, within the caves. You have left Ralzmon's mind behind. Yes. There's only one path forward. Are you prepared? John, are you okay? John stands up, sighing. Oh, wow, it's been a while. That, that's I don't I don't like that. That was very scary. I didn't like it either, but you were amazing. That was fantastic. Well done. John eh. puts a hand on her shoulder. Thanks. Um, I knew you could do it. But now uh, I'm going to have to take that. And John takes that potion that she received from <laughs> earlier and starts chugging it. And then uh, John, muted, it, then John one gets one XP. And 2d4 plus two. <laughs> Yay. So I assume we can heal now? Oh, God, I hope so. You're muted again, mate. He just keeps mate, you're, going. You're muted again, mate. Oh, my God, so much XP. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Babunski just played Extra Munitions. This is the second time Extra Munitions has been played this game, which means <sighs> that you can have two resources back. Again, disposable items, explosives, scrolls, potions, grenades... Spell tattoos up to level two. You can glow have glow sticks. Glow sticks, yes. <laughs> you are down a glow stick if you want to get another glow stick. No, that's okay. Okay. What do you Mate, want? My my re reaction isn't working for backslash R. I don't know why. Huh? Have you tried turning it off and on again? It's unrecognized command. Are you using the correct slash? Well, it's the one I've always used. I don't. You know where the other slash <gasps> is because I never use it. Well, have seven. Pods, what's up? Yeah, see, the, the other slash doesn't do anything. I don't know why it's not letting me use it. That's so weird. X disposable items? Two, and X is two in this case. Because it's the second time this card has been played tonight. So I can have my mirror back. You could have a potion of mirror image back if you wanted. And you get two things. I would allow that. Do you want that? Like that, yeah. Okay, there's two, so you can each claim something. Um... Matt, you might need to refresh if it's still being weird to you, but otherwise, just take the seven hit points and what resource I'm taking do you the want seven. Back? Yeah. Oh, one that we lost this time? It's extra munitions. So disposable items, grenades, potions, level two scrolls or bullets or tattoos. Would, would John be able to refresh the power of one of his tattoos? Yeah, you could recharge it up to level two. Uh, what if it's not a leveled tattoo, but like a what do you have in tattoo? Mind? Sell me. What? Okay, so what, what John wants to do is get back earlier in the day. He had used his absorption tattoo. I'm wondering if I can get my absorption yeah, tattoo. Yeah, you can recharge back. that. I'll allow that. Perfect. Great. Okay, so and your absorption tattoo is back. Pods, you get your potion of mirror image back as you prepare to enter the very heart of Ralzamon's power. Are you ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? John is going to ask um, Asena to hit him with a love tap. What, what do you... What, Look, we, you I just am an, I'm an arcane caster. Well, normally, norm, I'm normally an arcane. Look, I have been neutered magically, so I have to rely on 
my guile and my bag of tricks. And right now, I don't have the means of being able to heal myself normally. So I have to result to gaming the magical system. I need you to hit me, but as softly as you can, please. Just give me a love tap, okay? In game terms, do a point of damage, please. Just give me a little... Fine. I or actually, wait, no, it can't be you. It has to be me. Never mind. John's thinking this over and goes, never mind, forget it, and he slaps himself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you, you are well and truly slapped. What does that activate? I use Hellish Rebuke on myself. And then I absorb the Hellish Rebuke with my absorbing tattoo. <laughs> What is this? But this is honestly, this is very John, so I'm going to allow it. It's, it completely makes sense because <laughs> you just burn that. And as a reward for your absolute nonsense, so what, you heal half of this? Uh, no, all the damage that I would have taken, I... Wait, let me make sure. It, it might be half. Let me double all right, You blast yourself with your own Hellish Rebuke. Yes. But Hellish Rebuke has to work on a target that damaged you, right? Yeah, I hit myself for a point of damage, right? That's right. Okay, yeah, you took care of that. All right. Yeah. Also, uh, a bunch of healing cards have just been healed. So it's so powerful oh. when that fire goes off in your face that you can heal an additional 64 plus 6. Oh, my goodness. That's mm -hmm. very lovely. Thank you. And yes, it is half the damage you would have taken. So All right. So you uh, get back 12 damage. And plus... then, mate, would you mind rolling the... Uh, yeah, I got you. Not... I got you. Thank you. All right, 64 Thank plus you. 6. I have a question. Fire away. Would you consider each of these separate encounters to be separate dramatic scenes? Do you want Sakura's healing? Yes. Yeah, you can have it. <laughs> everyone, can, everyone can get a 3D yes. Sakura boop if you're low. Ooh. Each person can receive it once. It's a I stage boss I already boss got fight. it you can this get, like, some... stage. Oh, no, you got right? it like two stages ago. Oh, okay. Then everyone gets 3D8. Yeah. 3d8 or just 3d8 plus something what is just it? just a flat 3d8 but mate There's can also... i tell you why it wasn't working why wasn't it working you're gonna love this um i, I was trying to do it in cash and castles twitch channel not in yeah World that's 20. why that oh isn't working it, the, the dice don't roll when you roll them in twitch <laughs> yeah um about that <laughs> <laughs> oh man that almost makes up for the goof i made on production last night all right yeah. uh almost so each of you take that Slakura healing, and as you prepare for this final battle, a Mystic Surge has been played. So somebody Ooh. can regain a class resource. Focus points, spell slot. Really? Yeah. Like one of it or all of it? One. One. Okay. Like, well, for focus points, I'd give you two. Now it, or later? Right now. Right now. What about Gosh. deduction Shoot. dice? Yeah, I would allow you to get back two deduction dice. That's cool. That's cool. Well, as John uh, finishes cheating, <laughs> Sena, <laughs> how many? Uh, how how are you feeling, by the way, in regards to your uh, connection with your focus? Do you feel sufficiently oh, focused yeah. today, or okay? Well, I am I currently, never use enough of that. My 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 tank of deduction is on empty would you mind if i take a moment to try to re regain a sense of my like walk of my through your memory system. palace yeah exactly i need to i need to walk through my mind palace in order to to get my cool back Oosa. Oosa. i don't understand but sure okay perfect you do uh, what you need to do john takes a moment uh to do that and uh mate do we have the time for john to, to, to just hey Oh, wait. Yeah, it's been a short rest. It has been a short... <gasps> we took a short rest. Mate, mm -hmm. would I be able to spend some time re-upping our temporary hit points by giving everyone an inspiring speech? Yeah, go ahead. Perfect. In the, mi John, in the middle of your inspiring, inspiring speech, uh, Ralzamon attacks your brain. Oh. <laughs> so, no hit points? Yeah, oh. yeah. So, no hit points? <gasps> oh, okay. Well, All right. shoot. Ralzamon attacks your brain psychically, attempting to crush your mind. He rolls a 26 to hit for 21 points of psychic damage. Oh. So... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Understandable. Have a nice day. That, that happened. So... Wait, that... wait, wait, wait. I haven't used my disadvantage yet. I've got a disadvantage <gasps> I'm sitting on. Chat inflicted disadvantage. Let's roll this again. Oh, thank goodness. Please, 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 please. Okay, please. a 14. Yes! All right. I am now expunged of this nonsense. And... Oh. Uh, but yeah, if you do it again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep zapping your brain. 
Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, so we so, do get our hit points. I was gonna ask, so, so, so do we or don't we? If, if whenever you start giving your speech, he's just gonna continuously mind attack you. Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Because he's so sick of hearing your speeches. He heard your speeches up when he was in the volcano. <gasps> heard what? your speeches down here. What? I say what that. if he doesn't hear you? Yes, speeches? exactly. Now we 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 got it. We are of one mind. Is this what you wanted before? Yes, where we like exact... understood each other without. <laughs> this is exactly I what I want. Master of psychic powers. Of course I can hear you. Shut you get the hell out of here. This is a, I didn't this is invite you, you here. Out of here. It's too bad. You have assailed me for the last time. Bring yourself to the very heart of my power, and I will rid you from this world and save it from the things that are lurking that are caused by the cracks that travelers like you make between the worlds we were never meant to wander so you are abominations and you must die he's talking too much right we should just go kill him i think yeah i think we need a more secure line yeah understandable all right hey uh rousey poo i don't know if you can hear this but get fucked <laughs> all right he attacks your brain No, he 18. doesn't. <laughs> All right. Yeah, a Where are Tosto. we, mate? Where are we? As soon as you enter, I don't have a map for the tunnels, so I have a map for the final battle. So when you're ready to go We're down there. the tunnels, great. A Gaston Tosto card has just been played, which gives you one use of one of what? Gaston's gadgets. Oh. What do you have? One of his signature gadgets. So you can't make something up. It has to be something that like, he's known for. So what did yeah, you yeah, happen yeah. to bring along with you? Well, I don't know if you remember, we brought his giant gun. Do you remember that? Yes. That Ian Fletcher had? Mm-hmm. Could that have somehow not ended up with Ian Fletcher? His no, Ian Fletcher really? absolutely has that. Okay. Okay. Well, you know what? We also brought something else. Give me just a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Let me figure something out here. He had a ray gun. Um, I'm looking through his character sheet right now. All right. Asana, do any of Gaston's gadgets come to mind? What is a stim shot? What, what, what is a stim shot? Yeah. Oh, a uh, stim shot basically gives you false life. You want, those ex cool. you, want those, you want those temporary hit points you were trying to get so bad? I mean, I want one of us to have it, but I kind of feel like it, I, maybe I... Ooh, what's a courage dart? Is that just a vent, no fear? It gives you heroism. Regenerating, just, a re regenerating uh, temp hit points every round. Oh. And immunity to fear. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, let's give that to Asana. All right. Asana, you have one of his darts that you can stab yourself. And what is Gaston's intelligence modifier? It is a plus four. Okay, so every single round, once you hit this for 10 rounds, you're going to start each turn by gaining four temporary hit points. Heck yeah. And you'll be immune to fear, which is great because that's one of his mind powers. Oh, let's go. Are can you I ready stab to myself enter now? the final heart? Yes, right cool. when we go in there. Behold, the heart Ooh. of Ralzamon. This, this snake is just following us around like, yeah, <laughs> I'm part of this, man. I'm here. Damn snake. This enormous like... snake is just like, hey, man, I've been here the whole time. I'm ready to go down. <laughs> I hate Ralzamon, too. This is great. Someone let me suffocate something. Praise <laughs> Zethius. Oh, I oh, it's that kind of snake. Nothing. Nope, nope, no, not hiss. John hiss. covers up his butt. <laughs> <Very quickly. laughs> All right. You enter a chamber. Glittering mm -hmm. purple crystals are along every single wall. The floor itself is a smooth, you, there are lines in it, but otherwise it's smooth and reflective, translucent purple crystal. Upon its surface, a circle has been inscribed. An arcane symbol that very much resembles the one upon which the ritual that first took Ralzamon from this world was conducted. You see something moving beneath this translucent surface, roiling and churning. As psychic energy floods the room, you realize you have come to Ralzamon's very heart. And so, as if lifting himself up and standing, he emerges to face you one last time oh, this place Let's was really go. pretty until you got here 
Rosamon, your blight upon this world of yours that you so desperately claim to protect. You are the very bane of Yord's existence, bringing a signal to Atropis, the very entity that you try to protect this place from. You almost very nearly caused the downfall of your entire world, and only by the combined forces of one punch and our, 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 our friend, one of the entities that you also brought here when you were screwing around with things that you shouldn't have been. Uh, we're going to we're going to wipe you off the face of this world so that you no longer be plaguing Yord with your presence. Yeah. What he said. John, roll persuasion check. Persuasion, you say? Ooh. Persuasion. I like it. 23. 23. What? I... Cause the world born dead? You can, that's not possible. It can't be. Uh, yeah. But it is, and now you're gonna die for it. And John takes out his gun and shoots him. <laughs> Roll for initiative. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Third time's the charm. I have to close all these oh. godlike character sheets that I have open. I will always have one open. Shut up. <laughs> I met the dream larva, but yeah, that, that's that's funny too. Yeah, I, I I kind of assumed you were talking about yourself because you know, you know, I I, I understandable. Have a nice day. Where I had his characters selected. Oh well. <gasps> Wait a minute! Didn't you say that if we didn't do that correctly, something? And was then gonna I happen? immediately took it back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I immediately mm -hmm. took it back. I'm not enforcing it on you, so you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Life comes at you fast. Oh no! I did very bad. Was... I wasn't tracking it. I mean, I'm, I'm going to go back through and make sure I track it all entirely, but mm. we passed through nice the amount of experience that uh, we've collected over the course <laughs> of this campaign. We 69 XP yeah, we from did. me muting myself. Nice. <laughs> yes, we did. Wow. Okay. John, you have the con. Whatever resources you have left, now is the time to use them. Great. Uh, John's going to go ahead and... I believe I still have one of these. Let me make sure. Sorry, give me just a second to look through my tattoos. I don't usually get to use these that often. Do I have what I'm looking for here? Yeah, John's gonna run up to, since he's right there, John's gonna run up to Rousamon and he's gonna punch him. And as he punches him, he's gonna cast, let me pull it out here. Bestow curse. And John is going to be hitting him with his own Carmichael curse. What is the Carmichael curse? We talked about this a while ago, but it's been a while. Well, first, you have to make a wisdom save to see if this guy fails. Okay. Uh, chat also gave you a healing boost through channel points a while ago. So as you charge, oh, your resolve is boosted. Roll 2d4 plus 2. As you summon up your courage to face him down one last time, heal that damage. Perfect. And the all... The great and powerful Ralzamon must make a wisdom saving throw at disadvantage. At disadvantage! Because chat, you know, is just dunking on him. Yes. But he, he has excellent wisdom. There's no way that this could possibly fail. There's no way that he could possibly. Does a oh, 21 no. succeed? Uh, normally it does. Give me a second. Hold on. <laughs> wait, wait. I'm checking my bullshit list. Hang on one sec. I have a question. If you will allow it, I'd like to use my last inspiration for something. Mm-hmm. Can I use this in order to use a lucky die and have it apply to this? So you're going to use an inspiration and a lucky die to make him re-roll a third time? Yes. Great. Yeah, burn those resources. I'll take that. That's a equivalent exchange is accepted. All right. Perfect. One last roll. Get absolutely ah. dumpstered. Get completely <laughs> and utterly wrecked. Take all your well. resources and all your deduction dive and shove them up. <gasps> wait a minute! 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 What could you possibly still have? I have deduction dice. Normally, they use they are able to add to me. Would I be able to try to have them go against Ralzavon instead? 
No. Just for That's using not- the Carmichael curse. <laughs> oh, chat, just give you another point of inspiration. So, yes. Please, 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 yes. Okay. Okay. So, here's the thing. If I roll a one on the deduction dice, it still doesn't go through. It has to be a two or higher. Okay. And this is reducing his roll, right? Yes. Okay, great. Yeah. So, you're going to reduce his roll. We're burning that inspiration that you got. Yep. And please be high, please be high, please be high, please be high. A five! Yes! <laughs> All right, yes! you have your damn curse. What does it do? Yay! John puts on the Carmichael curse. While cursed, whenever the target makes an attack roll or a saving throw, they have to roll a D8 and subtract that number from the attack roll or saving throw. That's an awful curse. I don't like that curse at all. I do. <laughs> it's been an entire campaign in the waiting as John has been preparing to use this tattoo he's had on his body since the very beginning of the campaign, waiting for the time that he could meet the true Rousamon. All right. Well, is your turn over? Uh, mm, wouldn't you like to know? Yes, actually, so we can decide whether or not we're moving on. Yeah, no, I, that's, that's an action, so I, I believe that Great. Is, that is John's turn. The tables have turned. Matt, roll 1d6. Oh, Chat no. has played a magic item card. A f- five. A five. Oh, mate, I'm going to bust Frightful Presence. I don't care. <laughs> make okay. a negative hit on your savings. Uh, also, you I go. meant to say roll a d4, not a d5. It's d6. My oh. bad. So roll okay. 1d4 plus one. Plus what, three, then. A three. Okay. Yes. Uh, pause. Roll 1d100. Oh, no! <laughs> you took away my five! <laughs> yes, I did. 82. You got Ooh. a three and you got an 82, right? Yes. Ooh, okay. Well, you happen to have lying around one of uh, Qual's feather tokens. Oh. So back to Matt. Roll 1d100. That would be a 25. 25. You have a a bird Oh my a god. Bird. You have a bird token. Uh, okay. It summons an enormous... When you use it, you toss it five feet. It turns into a creature with the stats. And don't get too excited because there's some caveats. The stat block of a rook. <gasps> but it can't attack. I'm a little bit excited. It okay. Can't, it can't attack. Yeah, see? There there we go. Um, but it can't absolutely carry you around. Is it only useful during this scenario? Or is it no, like this is going a magic item. Have Congratulations. You oh! have a magic item. Oh my god, that's amazing! Oh, okay, so I the love two ropes. of you have this token that can summon an enormous bird so you can do the never-ending story, which doesn't particularly help you in this situation. So, John, are you done? Uh, yeah, but make your f- save against fear. And I roll a 1d8 to get negative to your fear effect. Oh, that's right, that's right. And I have, yeah. dis- I have disadvantage on this because chat, you know, just keeps dunking on me. All right, yes. Rousamon is in, in your defense, they're dunking on Rousamon. That's just, true. You know. That's true. All right, a 22 saves, correct? It would, but with oh, a negative eight. eight. All right. It does here, not save. In his very heart, Ralzmon is afraid mm. of the final death that awaits him. Okay. It is Ralzmon's yes. turn. While the object of his fear is within his sight, he has disadvantage on rolls. Um, he is going to refuse to die. Oh, he's going to use a legendary action at the end of your turn. Okay. To activate, I am inside your brain. On John. Roll a wisdom saving throw. I eat wisdom saving throws for breakfast. Yeah. Yes, okay, you do. Okay. Yeah, you resist it. <laughs> All right. It is back to his turn, and he is going to use... <sighs> This is his final, final strike. Asena, he is going to use mesmerism on you. Roll a wisdom saving throw. Okay. That is a failure unless you've got something else in the works. I got... I got inspiration. You're welcome to use inspiration. Okay. This advantage has been played on John. The natural balance has been restored. <gasps> A 22. You resist the mesmerism of Ralzamon, master of the unknown. But here at the heart of his power, 
he is able to attack twice and he's gonna use a mind crush on john which he has disadvantage on because of fear so that doesn't even get rid of any of his disadvantages and he has a minus one d8 so a 16 would have missed anyways all right well that's it for his turn it is lawrence booker green's turn Lawrence Booker Green sends his snake to actually do something useful. The, the magical snake is going to approach and attempt to enshroud the apparition of Ralzamon, Master of the Unknown. Is that hit, Ralzamon, Master of the Unknown? The joy of having all these character sheets open. Uh, no, it does not. The, the giant freaking snake fails. Lawrence mutters under his breath about how good help is hard to find. And... He activates Dark Knowledge. Asena, you have plus four on all attacks against Ralzamon for the next minute. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. So he basically tells you how to how to focus your fire and attack it. Um and there is a lucky break on the field, which gives all attacks against a random combatant disadvantage, and their saves get advantage. Ooh, random. Uh-oh. Okay. I'm going to roll 1d4. This is not going to go to a pet. Oh, I was going to ask if it could be the snake. <laughs> One, two, three. John, um, all oh. attacks against you are at disadvantage, and you have save advantage on all your saves until Lawrence's turn comes back around. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. Yeah. Asena, it's your turn. You have plus four to attack Ralzamon, Master of the Unknown. What would you like to do? It is only for right now. What? The plus four is only for... The next ten rounds. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. His whole... Um... Lawrence's whole thing is dark knowledge, so... Dude... Lawrence. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. Thank you, Lawrence. He's basically backseat, you know, gaming on this, telling you a little bit more to that side. Yeah, you see the ectoplasmic flow? Direct the force punch right there. Okay. Um, before I do that, though, mm -hmm. Asena is going to touch her arm to activate a spell tattoo that John had loaded what did on I forget? her. What did I forget? What did I forget about? What did I forget that you have? <laughs> I have haste. Yeah! <laughs> and I'm giving oh, it to myself. Oh, it's pain time. It's pain time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so you have two actions. Yes. And one bonus action. So now I will punch him. <laughs> okay, roll four attacks. And they're all at plus four. Um, okay. They're not an advantage, I don't think. Oh, and you have heroism on, so you have four temporary hit points. Oh. But I do have sneak attack. Do you have sneak attack on the first hit? Because you're not in ultra mode anymore. All right, so that first hit is good for 18 points of damage. A second hit does not hit. The third one is good. Fourth one is good for 11. All right. And they're all plus four. To hit. Oh, that's right. So that that other one is a hit. Not plus wait, four. Wait, are we still getting, are hit. we still getting all? Oh, wait, no, never mind. I'm, 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 I'm not paying attention. There okay. we go. Yep, yep, yep. Those were your two actions, Asena. Is there anything else you want to do? Uh, Yeah, I want to do a bonus action. And uh, focus point, yes or no? Yep. Okay. Roll two more attacks, no sneak attack, but they're both at plus four. Hit. Oh. And definitely not a hit. Okay, so you deal an additional nine points of damage and then Ralzamon is going to unleash his mental powers. Because of that natural one, he gets an extra legendary action. I could spend an inspiration to roll again. You certainly could, and that would take away his extra legendary action. Okay, let's do that. Okay, roll again. We're taking the Punish first damage result. Him. <laughs> <laughs> I I think not. 
<laughs> I think not. Okay, that's fine. Uh, uh, what happens at a crit when you crit with your punch again? The dimensional binding nonsense? The dimensional binding nonsense. Yeah, it does it do extra damage. The 1d8, force, I force thought. Damage. Yeah, it right? does an additional d8 force damage, I think. One or two d8. Check the power. Checking the power. All right, so that is another 14 points of damage as astral light engulfs the ectoplasmic form of Ralzamon looming over you, pulling and crushing him inwards as if it's shrinking him beneath your assault. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't I don't know what it is. I am looking. I am I've got okay. you. I've got you. <laughs> All right. While you look, uh Ralzamon has two legendary actions, one from Lawrence and one from Asena, so he's just going to go ahead and use both of those. Um -da 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 -da. He's going to use your mind is forfeit on Asena. Asena, roll an intelligence saving throw, please. Okay. What if, what if, okay. Intelligence save. Mm hmm A 12, lose two focus points. Okay. Oh. And then his second legendary action he's going to use against John Carmichael. And okay, he is just going to hit him with an old fashioned. Mm, May, I don't mm. actually see where you've listed that ability for Asena. Uh, well, just deal 288 more force damage. Okay. It might be on the item in the, in the journal. I think that's where it is. That makes sense. Oh. Which we should probably change that. Uh, dimension strike on a critical hit. It's, it should be upgraded to a D8, and if their movement is half, they have disadvantage, and they have to save, or they can't teleport at all. Save, or they can't teleport? That's so cool, because they every have time a they negative 1D8 to saving. Yeah, every time they try to teleport, they have to roll a save. So go ahead and add an additional 2D8 force damage to that, and then John, roll a charisma saving throw. Understandable. I have advantage on saving those right now, right? You do have advantage on saving throws because of the lucky break. Ooh, it seems to be my, well, you know, mostly, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Anything on this? Anything? Bueller? Yeah. I'm going to use my last deduction dice. Okay. Roll a four. Roll a five. How about a five? All right. He activated cracks in your armor, trying to get inside your head and pry your flaws out and then make your flaws drive you. Preying upon the oh, I hate that one. You. Yeah, I hate that one. Oh yeah. no! Well, and he's fought you enough that he knows charisma. Oh no, because you're a warlock now. He didn't know that before. Warlocks are good at was charisma saves. Oh, <laughs> it sucks to be Ralzamon. All right, but you know what doesn't suck to be Ralzamon? The fact that he just got a power up. This is his final stand. Chat played a no pushover oh, no. card, and so he's just going to use all of his remaining resolve to fight as long as he possibly can to the bitter end. His maximum hit points and current hit points both increase. Oh, no. Can I say I, I stepped forward when I punched yeah, him? Yeah, that's fine. You would have to. Okay. All right. He has only begun to fight. John, it's your turn. Well, John wants to uh, destroy him is the mm -hmm. thing. Relo. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So... I think right now we need to just need to just fight as hard as we can. So John's going to go ahead and use his bonus action to cast Hex on the mm -hmm. uh, on the Majigger. So I need he is going so to... So many little bad icons to put on this guy. Yep. Do I roll save or is it just Hex? Uh, no, it says he place a curse on the target. And then until the spell ends, which is concentration for an hour, uh, deals 1d6 damage to the target. Also, choose one ability score. Um, they have disadvantage on ability checks made with that chosen ability. I'm going to say intelligence. Okay, uh, those, are, those are on ability checks. checks. Hey, yes, the stone check. curse is a concentration spell. Oh, so I can't have two. Never mind. I can't Correct. have two at the same time. Do then I will else. hold on to bestow curse because that is better uh, for what we're doing here. So, yeah, I think uh, that's an action. Nope. I want to use my action. <gasps> but you know what I can do? Uh, I'll hold on to that, actually, just in case. Just in case. John's just going to shoot him. John's just going to shoot him. <laughs> I'm going to use my last uh, counter of Krontaka. I'm going to use Warp Spasm okay. and just unload on this guy. Um, we had said that as long as... 
Oh, I have disadvantage? Oh, shoot. Mm -hmm. Well, understandable. That means I roll this like a normal attack. It's just one disadvantage, right? One disadvantage, and then you're in the clear. Perfect. I think. Let me check. Yeah, can confirm. Okay. Oh, not quite. Not quite. That <laughs> still hits, though. All still right. hits. Magical and then the next one. brass gun goes bang. Magical then, brass gun goes bang. Last one. It goes bang a lot. Oh, I wasn't uh, adding these here. Uh, suck on <laughs> one, two, three. Is that not working? It's not working. Why isn't it working? We'll do it live. All right. Well, backslash roll. I'm just going to... I'm gonna mask this up. It's 60, 10, and I'm gonna just do them in increments of two. So make three wisdom saves, please. Of which uh, you have to roll a negative D8 on that. Do those negate the damage, or does it just um, cancel the damage? Does it negate or half it? Uh, it, neg it negates it. Okay, then three disadvantaged wisdom saving throws. Coming right up. With a negative one D8. Well, the natural yeah. 20 doesn't... Oh, wait, that's 25. Never mind. Yeah, is that still within range to fail? Yes, yeah, it, it is. is. Yes, it is. Nope, that, that's what that first okay. one's fine. So no Second save. Now. This is for five damage. Now, do I have disadvantage on all my saves right now? Uh, I don't know if you have disadvantage on all your saves. Then I'm burning my two disadvantages that chat gave that's me. That's what it is. Yep. Okay. Yep, we're burning these Ralzamon disadvantages. Okay, the five damage goes through. Okay. Because that was a failure. And then the last one, this is for 12 damage. This is the, the meat of the pie. As this is were. for all the marbles. Uh, I don't have disadvantage on this <gasps> one. So I take the 18 and he fails because minus that. So yes! you blast several holes in him and he's shrinking and losing power. He seems to be on the very verge. Is there anything else you've got in the tank? Uh, that is 52 plus 12 is 64 plus five is 69 points of damage from John nice. Carmichael. And also Coriander Agent John Carmichael just got played as a card. Gain one magic bullet or spell tattoo up to level four. And it's just for this scene? Just for this scene. Hey, guess what John shot out of his gun just now? What was it? John, up to level four, just shot a... Ooh, which one's the best one to have here? How close? Does he seem like he's... Well, I wouldn't know that. I wouldn't know that. Uh, he's going to shoot a lightning bolt out of his gun. Ooh, okay. Roll 8d6. Oh, wait. No, I have up to level four, you said? Yeah, up to level four. <laughs> Blight. Suck on Blight. Okay. Do you have that spell loaded up on your spell list? I do. I, I tried drop clicking it. it, and it's... It, I don't know if it's it's going to drop like three times now. <laughs> <laughs> Is it asking you what level you want to cast it at? It's not, actually. All right. We'll do we this finish. live. Because it's still your turn. We will, in fact, do this live. Okay. That is 8d8 damage. Go ahead and just roll 8d8. I'm going to roll a constitution saving throw. And I've burned that, and I've burned that. And I've got, in, I'm gonna use my advantage that chat gave me on this one. Okay, okay. Understandable. <gasps> wow. Wow, that's, that's like. Wait, really? Yeah, I rolled two eights. Wow. Sucks to suck. He doesn't have constitution. He's a floating space ghost. Oh my goodness. So, right. uh, extra, extra 28 points of necrotic damage. Okay, well. It's only nine extra points of necrotic damage. Ooh. Because Ralzamon shudders and unleashes a terrifying psychic shriek. Everybody in the room must roll an intelligence saving throw. Oh no. Including the goddamn snake. Whatever shall I do? <laughs> Wait, Chester too? Uh, Chester is excluded. Oh, thank goodness. If you failed, take 27 points of psychic damage. If you Ow. succeeded, take 14 points of psychic damage. The psionic shriek that he unleashes spreads and resonates through the crystals in the chamber. They begin to form cracks. Whatever lies beneath them bubbles and churns. Oh no. Ralzman shrinks down, regains all oh. of his health. Wait, what? John has disadvantage on saving throw? Uh, you have advantage and disadvantage because the uh, boost is still in effect, so it's a flat. Okay, so it's yeah. normal. Okay, cool. Exactly. Yes. You have Why is he regaining his health? Because you shrank him down. Oh, no. Did the uh, damage carry over or no carry over damage? The damage did carry over. Oh, Was good. that like a spell or something? Nope. I think we have to bring That's him crazy. down 
We have to lower his ego to the point where he can be defeated. Exactly. Every time that you deplete his hit points, he shrinks until he shrinks down to nothingness. But each time he does that, he unleashes a special ability and the cracks in the crystals spread. Oh no. This is the final phase of the final phase. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. John, are you done? Yeah, yeah, John's done. Okay. Oh, I need uh, to roll. Actually, I'm, I'm done when I move around here to give a Santa flanking. Now I'm done. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. All right. Intelligence saving throw for Lawrence Booker Green. He somehow miraculously fails and takes 28 points of damage. A retreat card has just been played. One side in the conflict loses ground against the other. Uh, oh. Both of you roll 1d20 and I'm going to roll 1d20. So you oh. effectively have advantage on this roll. So if you beat a oh. 16, a 19. Okay. The entire battlefield shifts as you drive Ralzamon into the corner. Ooh. Uh, this, which way do you want to drive him? You're, you've kind of got him surrounded. Towards the snake. Crystals. Towards the yeah, snake. Okay, the crystals. Towards the snake. Wait, okay. wait, no, yeah, crystals, crystals, crystals. This way? Is that, well, are there crystals everywhere? Or is yeah, there there's crystals, crystals everywhere. Then yeah, towards the snake crystals. Snake crystals. Snake crystals, okay, all right. He's driven in that direction. And, John, your turn is over. It is now Ralzamon's turn. He is going to unleash a legendary action to, no, not Blight. He's going to unleash a legendary action to make a Sena roll a wisdom saving throw. Ah. It immediately fails because you're under the effects of heroism. <gasps> Yay! Okay. Oh, that's then good. on his turn, he's going to fail? use psychic insight <laughs> on himself to give himself plus 1d10 on a roll. And then he's going to roll an additional wisdom saving throw to shake off the effects of the fear that you've placed him under. Okay, okay. He makes this check at a flat roll. 32 minus 1d8. Yeah, thank you for that, big priest. Plus 1d10. That fear is gone. He's no longer afraid. Yeah, yeah. That was his bonus action. He is now going to use his action to target John with Mind Crush. Can I punch him? <laughs> it's his turn. Why would you be able to punch him? Cuz. Cuz. All right, 20 to hit, 15 psychic damage. Yay or nay? Uh, 20 to hit? No, John's going to activate his vest of defense once per day, adding the shield spell, 25 AC. All right, another toy burned out. If any, if nothing else, this fight is at least going to like use up a lot of resources. Because he yeah. has a spell. It's not a spell, right? He casts a spell on, on himself. Did he cast a spell on himself? No, he used, that was a, uh, a, a class feature that he has. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Yeah, the war mage, the, the mage hunter training didn't kick in, but that's a good call. It's now Lawrence Booker Green's turn. John, the lucky break that you got is worn off. Copy that. Lawrence has had it with this guy's crap. Me too. <laughs> he casts Finger of Death. Ooh, why? <gasps> that's a con save. That's, that's a con, a con save. save. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's just a flat save right now, right? There's nothing else in the works. None of your as far as I know, just a flat it, save. except for the one d eight, right? Except for the one d eight. I mean, it's a one d eight, so you know it's. Yeah, he failed. He immediately takes sixty points of damage. Oh my god! <laughs> as Loris is Get just like fingered. I've had death. it with this nerd, and the giant constrictor snake attempts yeah. once again to be a slippery little snake and fails completely. A is it is it flanking with me? Are we are we flanking? Mm, no, but if you move no? one square to the okay. right, it is. Go ahead and move one square to the right, and I'll make that. No, I want to flank. I want to flank with the Sena. I want to flank with the Sena. If you move one square to the right, you'll have flanking with both. Oh, I will. Okay, well then, yeah, mm -hmm. I'll do that. Then. Yeah, Fine. big creatures cool. are easier to flank, my guy. All right. Well, then there we go. The serpent attempts to enshroud him and does, in fact, slither around Ralzamon, master of the unknown. It is Ralzamon is restrained because his ectoplasmic form is at least somewhat corporeal and grappled and. All right. Now, before you do your thing, Ralzmon is going to use his legendary action to use cracks in the armor on the freaking snake. Oh no. The snake makes a charisma saving throw. 
<laughs> that snake is awesome. Dude, Dude. That is four. Minus four. Dude. That was the only conceivable circumstance under which that could have happened. Why is my life? Yeah. Okay. Asena, underneath yeah. underneath the crystals, there's some sort of bubbling liquid, but deep within the bubbling liquid, there's a shimmering light as glimmery as a glow stick <gasps> underneath the surface. It's something shiny. What do you do? But do I have to get it now? You don't have to do anything, but it's very shiny. It's okay. in the crystals, isn't it? It's it's beneath the floor in the crystals. Oh my gosh. Um, before we do that, mm -hmm. was I supposed to be gaining health on my turns? You have plus four every turn. Your temporary hit points resets to four. So if you take damage, oh, okay. Yeah, so you that's don't you're not regaining health. You, thing was. Yes, that's what that is. You're immune to fear, which already helps you, and you have four hit points of shield every round. Okay. Um, well, since I have two actions, mm -hmm. I want to attack Ralzamon. Okay, so two attacks against Ralzamon. And then I'm going to go try to punch the floor to get the shiny. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. So do I get an advantage because he's grappled? Yes, you do. Roll okay. for it. Wow. Really? Wow. Really? Another critical hit. Which means... <laughs> Roll 2d8 for more force damage. Yeah. That's 21 <laughs> plus 12 is 33 plus whatever you're about My to roll. To absolutely. All right. 37 points of damage. It's ensnared by the snake and enshrouded by these astral tethers. That was your first attack. What would you like to do for your second attack? No sneak attack on this one. Eight points of damage. Bam! Once again, Ralzamon writhes and shudders as his form starts irreversibly collapsing on itself so close to falling. You're pretty easy, Rousey Poo. <laughs> I don't know if you could be my nemesis. No, I must not fail. I am the last shield of this world. Oh, this is Ralzamon, we talked about this. You're the whole entire reason your world has become so infected with magical energy. Silence! Silence! Isena, what are you doing with your second action? I'm gonna go for the shiny. Okay, how are you gonna go for the shiny? Wait, 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 wait! A streamless card was just played for I, Battlefield, I, I, damn I, I, it! I am, well, I am well aware of this. How are you going to go for the shiny? I'm gonna, well, it's under the floor, right? So I gotta yeah. punch the floor. You punch the floor? Yeah. Okay. You punch the floor, a crack spreads across the entire surface of the room as the crystals shatter, falling below, revealing a pit of bubbling hot tar. Oh no. Behold! Oh no. Uh, Sena, you're standing in a good place. John, you're just barely standing on a good sp on a good place. Uh, but the serpent is s sort of on Isn't top the of a bunch of kind of wrapped around this guy. That is true. It is kind of wrapped around this guy. And by the way, there's no here here, so you know. Hi, how are you? So yeah, Hi, you have now you? activated the next stage of the battlefield. Oh gosh. But you can grab the shiny if you want. You're gonna have to reach your hand into boiling hot tar. Um, okay. Four temporary hit points, why not? <laughs> Can I, before I, before I put my hand in this boiling tar, mm -hmm. can I coat my fist with a balm? What balm? <gasps> the palm balm from the tree. From the dragon the fire tree bomb. back in the Yokai Blossom world? Yes. yes. Oh my god, the callback. Yes, you can do that. So I'll quickly just like Item interaction. open it. <laughs> nah, bonus action. Because it's like using a potion. Okay. Coat my hands and then grab it. Okay. Go for it. All right. 
you reach down and you pull from beneath a chunk of this purple crystal that is glowing <laughs> with a flickering light inside of it. Uh, um, Razzy Poo, what's this? No. Can I punch it? No. Roll to punch it. Punch it. Punch it. Punch it. Okay. You punch the crystal. Your hand bounces off of it, but it flashes and flares. And Ralzamon recoils as he takes not 13, but 26 points of damage. <gasps> oh my goodness! He's now only as big as the snake. Another keening psionic cry goes off, which would have broken the floor if you hadn't already done it. He re his health bar fills back up, and then he has uh, 20 points, 21 points of leftover damage. Everybody in the room, roll an intelligence saving throw. Uh oh. Is that something he's doing to us? Um, I think every time he shrinks, he does like a psychic scream or something. Yeah. What 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 effect are you attempting to trigger here? Well, it's not a spell, so it's fine. No, I'll let it I'll let it treat as a spell. Oh. If you're mage hunter, yeah, that seems fine. I just get advantage on spells cast within five feet of you. Okay, great. You take advantage on this save. Okay. You uh, you want to throw anything at that? You got anything left in the tank? No. Okay. Well, I mean, no. <laughs> All right then. Uh, John off. does. John does. John does. John what does. Are you doing? John, uses what are you doing? John uses his reaction, and he's going to grasp hold of the talisman once more, pushing his luck ever further, risking corruption. To Doesn't cause that DC to... get higher every time? Uh, I believe it gets higher as I get more corruption. The okay, DC got it. Is, is it has it has a base, and for every corruption, it gets okay. higher. All right. So if I start relying on it too much and start failing a lot, that's where it starts getting bad. Got it. All right. Does that auto save? Which, you're the DM. You always have the chance to modify it if you'd like. Mm -hmm. You can always. No, if Case of Corruption gets played, we'll do that. Um, all right. So you succeeded on the save. And does that give pods an automatic success on the save? Yes, it does. Yeah. Great. Everyone who saved takes half of. Oh, damage. yeah. Okay, cool. Great. How many? You take. 22 damage. So after your temporary hit points, you take 18. Ow. I'm in a bad way right now is the thing. <laughs> oh, mama. And there's no inspiration in the tank. Oh, no. no. <laughs> oh, no. And he's still pretty big. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Yeah. It's I gonna be fine, that. John. Just attack mm -hmm. this thing I have. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that thing that you just said. Just oh. I see. Is that it for your turn? Your bonus action um, was coating your hands in the stuff. You used your yeah. both of your haste actions, so I think you're all set. I think I had one more punch. Yeah, you did have one more punch. You can use one more punch if you want to just go ahead and punch the thing. Okay. There's always one. Yeah, punch. I'm punching the little. Okay, thing. roll it. He takes 16 oh. points of damage as you continue to punch his crystalline heart. All right, on his turn, he is going to turn to John Carmichael. No, not on his turn. As a legendary action, he turns to John Carmichael and he uses telekinesis to attempt to hurl you into the bubbling tar. Roll a strength saving throw. Oh, goodness. And I don't have any bonuses or anything to this. Oh, goody. At the last second, you heal 2d4 plus 2 damage as chat smiles upon you. The oh. intensity, the desperation of the situation occurs to you. And no matter what happened to you, you're still a f***ing wizard. Regain a spell tattoo or spell bullet up to level 4, John. Oh! Oh, a spell tattoo or a spell bullet up to level two. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, 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 okay. And you'll be rolling a strength saving throw here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me let me just see what I have here. Give me a moment. Okay, okay. Man.
Mate, what's going to happen to me if I end up getting dunked into this tar? You're going to take a lot of fire damage. A lot of fire damage, you say. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And he uses telekinesis, right? Telekinesis. Strength and saving. Get, and I just get a spell tattoo or a bullet. I don't actually get to use it right now, right? Unless it's something that can be used as a reaction. I already burned my reaction. Mm, that's right, to save a Cena. Mm hmm. Okay, that's well, uh, I guess I'm going in the water. Uh, let me go ahead and make my save. This, I don't have any advantage to this or anything, so it's just going to be a regular save of a 12. Ooh, 12. All right. I don't think that's going to do it. He forcibly hurls you into the boiling hot tar, inflicting 27 points of fire damage. 13, because I'm resistant to fire damage. Okay, 13 points of fire damage. And then after the save was already rolled, Chad has given you inspiration. <gasps> Ooh. It is your turn. You should probably leave the boiling hot tar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. John, John crawls out of the boiling hot tar. Ah, oh, oh, It is geez. still stuck ah. to you, and at the end of your turn, you are going to take 2d10 fire damage. Unless I do like an action to remove the tar or something. Unless right? you have something to remove the tar, which you, it's sticky, so you need some sort of a solvent. Oh, uh, I'm wondering, mate, if instead um, mm -hmm. I could go ahead and activate my armor of Agathus, covering myself in frozen armor. Would that Ooh. solidify and harden the sticky tar into no longer being fire anymore? That gives you temporary hit points, right? It gives me temporary hit points, yes. All right, because the heat is still there. So what I'm going to say is that it's, it's going to protect you from the attack. And if it goes off, you can unleash it on Ralzamon. Great. So Perfect. It, I put it, it's still going to deal myself. damage against your temp HP, but yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Perfect. Is that an action to activate that? It's an, it's an action to activate that. And and is I that get the spell tattoo that you just got Wait, back no. from chat or no? Uh, that is, no, that was just my regular uh, warlock spell. Okay. All right. Armor of Agathis um, is a action. Is an action, and I'm going to go ahead and pop that, move on up to give That casts at your highest level, Asana. so go ahead and record those temp hit points. Yes, uh, I'm just trying to figure out. I think I have up to level two, so that's 10 temporary hit points. Mm -hmm. Now. That should keep you alive. That should keep me alive, maybe. maybe it'll stop. Kind of, it, the of. damage will still happen this round, but it'll end instead of lingering because of the armor of Agathis. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, perfect, perfect. And then uh, okay, as my... Action. Yep, that's my action. As my bonus action, I'm going to go ahead and activate the... Ghost Step Tattoo. I have resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage for non-magical attacks. I can't be grappled or restrained, and then I can move through creatures as if it was uh, difficult terrain. Ooh, nice. Cetera, ghost cetera. Step. All right, what are you going to so, do with that? I'm going to activate Ghost Step and just make sure that until the beginning of my next turn, I am not going to uh, get as screwed as in case i get thrown somewhere else I, i'm just i'm just trying to do whatever i can at this point i don't really have a stay great alive, plan alive, other stay than alive, stay alive please give me a buff uh, <laughs> oh wait a minute that's right we have inspiration <laughs> cards oh good call you do uh, have those inspiration cards what do they what, what ones do you have yeah actually uh actually yeah live yes uh you know what i have a different idea mate that i want to do with my bonus action all right all right i have a card uh called oh wait regeneration yeah i don't have that one is the thing you don't have a regeneration what do you mean? i have dangerous oil eagle splendor and quick thinking uh and you have regenerating mana smoke bomb and boosted adrenaline we you already used, we used it i believe we used regeneration at some point yeah oh because i haven't written down what we all have which unfortunately i do not have that <laughs> what um, else you got? yeah so i guess uh I have Dangerous Oil, Eagle Splendor, and Quick Thinking. I don't know what any of them do because I don't have the card in front of me. Dangerous Oil is an action to apply it to a weapon. It becomes a plus one magic weapon. If it's already magical, it gets an extra plus one on top of that. Really? Yeah, so you could juice up Krontaka. Remember, you have a bonus action. You haven't decided what to do with it yet. And actually, I'm going to make that a bonus action because it's like a disposable magic item. So you could use that to juice up Krontaka. Unless you used your bonus action to activate your tattoo. That was the plan, but yes. I didn't know I was getting that thing. So, mm -hmm. oh, I think that's what, yeah, I think that's what. I, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mate, we just said, oh my gosh. We just said that as we reduce Rausamon's ego and his size, he gets weaker, right? Mm hmm. Right? Yes. Where's this going? I, 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 I okay, I made, I made a revelation. 
will you allow me to take i know we did a lot just now could i could i could i just uh just because i had a cool revelation can I use sell that me instead? sell me so i got you you said i got a spell tattoo or spell bullet up to level two back up to level four right up to level four. They Wait, up to level four? I thought you level John two. Michael card. You got a level four spell tattoo or bullet. Oh, I thought you said up to level two. No, level four, my oh. guy. Oh. Okay. Well, that makes things a little bit different. Uh, yeah. Let me ask you this. If I was able to forcibly shrink Rosamond, would that also shrink his ego as well? No, it would not work. No. Okay. All right. Well, there we go. Well, never mind. Up to level four. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and keep what we have here. I don't want to take up too much more time. We'll just say that this is what happens. Mm -hmm. I'll pick my thing and we'll and we'll go from there. All right. So you take you're up. seven points of fire damage against your temporary hit points okay. and the tar goes out. It is Ralzamon's turn. He knows Asena is incredibly strong, so he's not going to try to use telekinesis on her. He is. And going did, to did you say that when the when the fire damage happened, that Ralzamon took the took the hex damage? Or the, the, the Agathis damage? The Agathis damage only procs if it, you destroy the armor, right? Every time you get hit by the armor, it they take the damage. And I, 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 maybe I heard, misheard you. I thought you said that every time it procced, it was going to reflect off on no, the No, I said if it, if it killed it. I might have made that up. Oh, if you killed it. I see, I see, I see, I see. Rosamond is still restrained. He is going to use his mind crush on a Sena with disadvantage, trying desperately to bring her down. Does a 15 hit? It doesn't, right? Mm -mm. Okay. And that's going to end his turn. He's going to go back to his legendary actions. Lawrence Booker Green eyes the foe and is going to continue hitting him with his strongest attacks. And then Asena, you're going to be up after that. Lawrence is May. going to... Yes? We just got a short rest. Is Mind Crush a spell? No, it's a psychic attack. And you did just get a short rest. Before he unleashes his power... Would anyone like to regain resources? So all your focus points are back, all your spells yeah. are back, and you can both spend as many hit dice as you want to recover. To heal. Yeah. Please. What? Yes. Yeah. Chat just spent points on a short rest. So as you were wearing down, as Ralzmon's power filled the chamber and the bubbling tar was everywhere and it just continued to fight this desperate tooth and claw, even as your strength began to fade and you started to wonder for the last time, could Ralzmon truly be a threat? Could we actually die here? No, that's ridiculous. Imagine dying to Ralzamon. That's so cringe. And so with a surge <laughs> so of cringe. strength and determination, you build up the resolve to go up, pick yourselves up, and get back in the fight. Yes. Oh, my Amazing. God. Record how many hit dice you spend because, you know, if you get another yes. short rest, those are still gone. Yes. Ooh, big I, I'm, numbers. I'm juicing right now. Big numbers. We're all like quiet as we're like. <laughs> it's like math, let's math, do math, 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 math. It is time. It's that part of the the episode where we we do math. Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons, <laughs> where uh, you you do math for fun. Imagine. Three. Okay. I actually I like uh, D and D math. I'm a big fan of uh, of D and D math. I'm very lucky that we are playing this online and I get a calculator. I love the online tools. Honestly, like I don't want to have to do math on the fly. Oh, God. I accidentally minus one by mistake. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to use all my. <laughs> you, now's the time to use them, my guy. Might as well. Yeah. No, I, I guess it doesn't matter if I have hit dice if, I, if I'm if i dead. Yeah, I can't, you can't take it with you when you go. Oh, my gosh. I keep rolling so many ones. <laughs> I don't have the con to make this work for me, mm -hmm. but I, I am feeling uh, far better than I was. I'm out of hit dice now, but um, I'm doing quite a bit better. Oh, I'm doing a lot better. Oh. Thanks, Chad. <laughs> Thanks, Chad. Thank that you. said, a minions card was also played. I'm going to summon oh, four goody. chimeric phantoms, the psychic echoes of people who have perished in the past, whose resonance is still captured within these crystals. I haven't actually taken Lawrence's turn, so let me go ahead and do that. What's his highest level spell that he can use? Uh, all right, so first off, the serpent is going to just try to chunk him down. Some grapple. With advantage, because he's restrained. Play that sound effect from Pokemon. 
that gang, gang, gang. voice. <gasps> Dude. And what a inflicts reference. 17 points of damage on Ralzamon's latest stage. This and is being... Jake, by the way, the snake. Jake the snake? Okay, so... It's Jake the... the it's the vake, by Jake the way. Jake the vake? Well, yeah. Lawrence uses a bonus action to reach out his hand and turn Jake the, the thick back into a staff oh, so he can then well, drop another yeah. goddamn flame strike on Ralzamon's head. Oh, okay. Well, thank you, Vake, for, for your help. <laughs> he didn't want to kill Jake the Vake. All right. Drop it. What? 32 points of damage if Ralzamon blows his save, and he still has minus 1d8 on his saves, right? Yes, he does. He has a okay. shake. Uh, and I'm pretty sure we've got disadvantage. I needed to make... Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I, I need to make a con save. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, mm -hmm. hold on. It's gone. Unless I use an inspiration. I, I got one from Chad earlier. Do I use it? Do you Do use, use it? it? Yeah. Yeah, I think okay. I need to. Roll that again. Rolling it again. Please, 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 please. Yes. Okay, so you keep the spell. Oh. Yeah, 14 is what you needed because yep. that was... No, it's based on the damage that you took. Yeah. Okay. Ralzmon rolls a dexterity saving throw. He might succeed on this unless this hex kicks in hard. Yeah! Kick in it hard. hard. And he takes 32 <laughs> points of holy fire damage, chunking him down significantly. That will be it for Lawrence, Booker, Green, Asena. It's your turn. Uh, Ralzmon uses a legendary action to use telekinesis to throw John back into the goddamn goo. Roll oh, strength saving throw. No. Well. I'm gonna get dunked again. <laughs> oh no. You're too late. Enjoy them. Ooh. Let's see if it's double rolls or if it's single rolls. <gasps> nope. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going back in the drink. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you don't take the damage until the start of your turn. So, you know, enjoy. Oh, cool. All right. Asena, it's your turn. But as you continue, well, actually, tell me what you do first and I'll go from there. Um. Can I give John my mirror potion? You can pass it to him if you want. Or you Throw can it at me. You can, uh, yeah, can I just like <laughs> pour yeah. it in his mouth? If you run over to him, yes. Although he's also in boiling tar right now. He's sinking into boiling tar. I am screaming. Ah! <laughs> so it my burns, mouth is open. It burns. <laughs> He gained hit points. He's fine. I'm fine. I'm <laughs> fine. All right. What's it going to be, Asena? Mess him up. You've got the heart in your hand. Wait, what happens when there's four of me? All it's they do, only defensive. Yeah. They don't let you attack. Oh, okay. They're not real. Oh. Mate, what is boosted adrenaline? Boosted adrenaline lets you. Is that movement? Let me check it out. While Asana takes her turn. No, you you uh, take half damage from a non-magical da uh, punching attack. Non-magical weapon attack. Yeah, just beat the crap out of that heart. Oh, Get right. him. Get him. You're just going to go absolutely sicko mode on the heart? Yeah. Okay, roll four attacks because you're still hasted. Yeah. Hit. Only one sneak attack. Oh! Wow. Uh, the heart's not that hard wow. to hit, so you're going to inflict... Okay, the first one you dealt, 17. Roll an additional 2d8 because you got another critical strike on that heart. It flashes with silver light and fire. So we'll add 2d8 to that. 13. Okay, so quick math. 9 plus 8, 17. Plus 2, 19. And plus 7, 26. Plus 4, 30. Plus 2, 32. Plus 11... 43 plus another 13 is 56 plus another 13 on 56 is 69. 69. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. We should get inspiration for him. Yeah, yeah, everyone gets inspiration when it's, yeah, everyone gets one inspiration because it's nice. <laughs> and that's going to come real in ha handy because you just knocked him down to size. So, you know what happens? Everyone roll an intelligence saving throw. Yeah, yeah, we've been here. That's profoundly unlucky. Oh. Ouchie. 
I mean, I mean, that's what the inspiration was for, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, wait, mate, is this an attack? Uh, no. Uh, oh. you could hellish rebuke this. I mean, are you asking if your armor procs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, your armor can proc. <gasps> 10 points nice damage. And it's a pity you don't have that to absorb the boiling oil that's about to cling to your very flesh. Um, oh, no, my boiling All right, so oil. if you fail the save, take 24. If you succeeded on the save, take <laughs> 12. Well. Lawrence Booker Green makes an intelligence saving throw. He's really good at these. Somehow he failed. He uh, he, oh, but he got a, a short rest, too. Yes, he did. And he has arcane recovery. <gasps> he do. I used to have arcane recovery. <laughs> I'm going to get back a level five spell slot and a level one spell slot. Oh, my gosh. It's flame strike time again. And he got to spend his hit dice to heal. I'm just going to throw some numbers at it. And then he's going to take the full 24. All right. Has everybody resolved that attack? And to say to remember, four points of that came off your 10 pit point. Oh, we're off the mic. Hey, mate. Yes. Uh, you haven't finished your turn yet, so I've decided that, yes, I have elected to, to use my reaction to hit him back with my Hellish Rebuke. Okay. And your armor procs, too, right? Uh, we, we did that. You, you, took, you took the 10 damage already, right? No, I didn't. So let me go ahead and do that okay. now. A Ten it, damage take 24 Leon. damage. Four of that comes off your temporary hit points. Oh, okay. So I'll gain four. And when he go, undergoes this scene transition... His chimeric minions, these uh, phantoms, these creatures, these amalgamations of psychic power emerge and they will act on his turn. Oh no. Okay. Okay, so make a save against... Wow, I just rolled a second level ref ref fire. It did more than my fifth level. Uh, it do be like that sometimes. All right, Asana, you used both of your actions, right? Did you use your bonus action yet? No. What do you want to do with that? Mm -hmm. How are these things? These are psychic <laughs> phantoms that have emerged to attack you. I'm going to keep attacking this crystal. <laughs> All right. Go in on it. And then he took 17 more. points of fire damage, right? Correct. Perfect. All right. <gasps> and this damage against the crystal heart is doubled, so that's 22. Actually, we'll do it this way. 11 plus... Hold up. Did I double the damage last time? Yes. I think it's mm -hmm. You did. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> 11. How did we end up with 69? Oh, because you rolled the 2d8. Okay. 11 yes. plus 8, 19, which is 38 points of damage. And you are, he is bloodied on his second to last form. That is it for Asena, right? Yes. Okay. John, it's your turn. You start your turn in the bubbling hot I do. Tar. Take 12 I do. points of damage. Six points of damage. Take six points of damage. It goes damage over defense on this one. But uh, now I'm going to climb out the tar and I'm going to stand right over here. Uh, at the edge of this scene, so I can see that crystal. And I say, Asena, hold it steady. And John takes out his gun as he's on fire. <laughs> and I am going to use, I keep saying this, my last inspiration, my last inspiration, because I keep hitting <laughs> they more keep from coming back. <laughs> it it just keeps won't coming stay back. Dead. I'm going to lose, use my other last inspiration to, and I can get a Krontaka point back, right? Yeah. Cool. I Then I, I activate Krontaka using the Warp Spasm. <laughs> and uh, I use a bonus action to put the Dangerous Oil onto the gun. All right. You can get Add a plus one to, to hit and damage. plus one damage. Yes, yes. Might as well just add everything we can to <laughs> this. fire everything. Fire. I probably should hold on to that to make sure a Mook can do magic damage, but you know what? This is cooler. No, fuck this guy in particular. Fuck this guy in particular. Shoot the um, shot. Oh, wait a minute. No, wait. I don't do that. I use Tiamat's curse because I got that back when I got a short rest. So okay. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put Tiamat's curse on him because that does way more damage. So okay, this is love the oil because that's better. All right, and here Roll we go. Full sense. Roll the nonsense. It's a fairly small target, but you're a fairly good shot. 
Fairly good shot. Yeah, you're a good shot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bailey, number one. <laughs> number two. And then double tap for number three. Perfect. Uh, right. Can this crystal take psychic damage? Well, this crystal is part of Rosamon, so yes. Yes. Make three saves, please. Okay, Negative the first one, one I'm going to make a disadvantage one. because chat okay. wills it. 24 saves. Uh, roll minus 1d8. Yep, yep, yep. If it's high enough, it'll still be useful. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, my God. Ah! Okay, you're going to have to do this math for me. Uh, keep track of this. For you. Second roll. Yep, yep, yep. A 32. Okay, that can't save, so We're good. don't worry about it. Third roll. 27. That can't save, I don't think. What's it's your 18. DC? 19? Oh. 18? No, it's an 18. Yeah, I can't yep. do it. Okay. All right. Rack them, including your extra plus one. 24, 28, plus 15 is 43, plus 23, and 43 is, ah, dang it, 67. No, 66. <laughs> no such luck. 66? 66. Is that doubled or not doubled? No, oh, never mind then. Uh, yeah, that would be 170. 12. No, 12. Six, 66, right. right? Okay. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. That's be one, 60 and 60 is 120. Plus 66, that's 132. 132. Okay, yes. 132 points of damage as you just unload oh, on the heart. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. And uh, I have spell bullets. And I got a fourth level spell bullet to use this in this one. So I'm using Blight. Uh, suck on 8d8 points of uh, blight damage. I'm gonna use my. I'm gonna use my inspiration on this one. Okay, go ahead. This is a con save with a negative one d8. Let's see how you fare, yeah. my friend. Yeah. This will be 66 points of damage. I'm just trying to double my chances of I failed, didn't I? Yeah, you failed. Is the DC an 18? <laughs> the DC is an 18, but you had to roll one d8. So. Oh yeah, I, I failed. Think it's, <laughs> it's because possible. it's a curse of Tiamat. Okay. Yeah. So that's oh, yeah, 66 of points of damage, right? 66 points of damage. Okay. So, Relzamon is now reduced yeah. to a fluttering sprite hovering yes! over, just barely clinging on to life. Uh, but he does unleash one more psychic scream, so you know the story. Yeah. It saves the everybody. Story. John shouts out to Asena, finish him! 40 oh, wait, points of damage. A, I'm sorry, is this a psychic scream? Yeah, this is a psychic scream. Cool. It's John's turn. He gets a reaction. John uses Hellish Rebuke at level 5. <laughs> Thanks for the scream, friendo. <laughs> Roll the damage. You cannot target the heart with this. You have to target Ralzman oh. with this. Oh, you're right. You're right. I can't target. Yeah, okay, fine. That, 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 you know Even what? Even though they're connected, it can only be targeted with actual focus. Fair is fair. Fair All right. is fair. Asana, take 36 damage because of the regenerating life health. And then John makes a save. And it's, it's a 16 save against the... Uh... Oh, that was good. Oh, ignore How the How much? 32? Damage. Yeah. Mate, does a 16 save against this? Um, it does not. The DC is 17. Ow. Well, I've used everything, so. Wait! No, it's as a save. No, never mind. I don't have anything. Lawrence Booker Green makes his roll. Ouch, that's a lot of damage. He made his save just barely. Oh. Oh, uh, undo that. You should be at. Okay. Oh, and John, you're covered with burning tar, so. Okay, it's not my wait, it's not my oh, it's not my turn. I already did it. it, it you started your. I took turn. six points of damage. You started your turn in the boiling lava, in the boiling yeah. tar, and when you yeah. ended your turn, you had boiling tar on you. Oh, okay. Well, I take two points of damage. You take two points of damage. You're down to what? Fourteen. Down to fourteen. Okay. Is it Ralzamon's turn? Well, yeah. If have you taken your saving throw against what is that? Forty-six points of damage. I will now make a saving throw against forty-six points of damage. Yeah, thank you. Negative one D8, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. You said how much? 46 points of damage. Holy crap. Okay, Ralzamon sacrifices one of these chimeric phantoms to absorb its life essence. And he, sacrifices... he gets to absorb the phantoms too? Ah, oh, man. He absorbs another one, oh. leaving him with only one left. Ooh. Amazing. It is now his hey, John's, turn. John's point still stands. Let's say now, finish him. <laughs> All right. On his turn, this phantom is going to fly over to John. 
and multi attack with two maddening grasp attacks. Oh no. Nine? No dice. 22. For 60 necrotic. Two, you say. Hold on a moment. Hold on a moment. Hold on a moment. Hold on a moment. Yeah, it's six. I'll take it. Okay. Uh, are you resistant to necrotic damage? I am. Three damage. All right. Ralzamon, as he flickers and sputters, just draining any psychic energy he can to try to keep himself alive, will reach out towards Asena. What? Leave her alone, you brute. Attempting to close, and because close quarters was played, he reaches out and grabs you by the throat. He's not overpowering you and choking you, but he gets a hold. It can't end this way. It won't end this way. And he unleashes three desperate mind crushes on you, attempting uh -oh. to just absolutely blast you out of existence. I'm gonna three. use my last inspiration on this. His first attack, a 27 for 24 points of psychic damage. And your bonus health hasn't regenerated yet. His second attack is a flat attack. 14 is a miss, and his final attack is a 22. Does anyone have any luck dice left? Or he could get disadvantage the literal last minute from chat. I'm almost spent. I have not much of anything. And he rolled a two. Hosanna, <laughs> as he's just about to like drive the light from your eyes, his strength weakens before yours does oh thank goodness it is lawrence booker green's turn he is going to cast divine word as a bonus action as he speaks a syllable in the tongue of the ancient gods. Ralzamon shrieks as he is deafened and blinded. And the chimeric phantom is also deafened and blinded. Oh, dead. That's his bonus action. And as his action, he's going to sling a Word of Radiance at the Chimeric Phantom attacking John. Wow. For 17 points of Radiant damage. Asena, it's your turn. The flickering shade of Ralzamon lies within your grasp. <laughs> what do you do? One punch, one punch, one punch, one punch. I'm going, I'm going to, with the crystal in my hand, mm -hmm. I'm going to punch his face. <laughs> Roll it. With advantage. <laughs> of course. Of course. Like, how else could this end? How else could this possibly end? Then you just <laughs> punching him in the goddamn face. Okay. Take this, Rousey Poo. You, for a moment, you feel resistance as the force surrounding your hand passes through his incorporeal body. There is one last scream, but it does not tear apart the room or shatter your minds. It is the last wails, the echoes, as a dim shadow, a faint echo of a man fades. Ralzamon recoils to the other side of the room in tatters, just bits and pieces. His face, his spectral face blinking left and right, making thousands of different expressions, emotional expressions all at the same time. But at that moment, 
He stops. A dark hand emerges from the wall, parting the veil. Rests upon Ralzamon's shoulder. Ralzamon looks behind him into the darkness as he flickers. The hand seems to stabilize him, bringing him back together. And a voice from beyond says, I still have need of you. Rise. And it grabs Ralzamon almost by the scruff and pulls him and he vanishes. No. Asena, some part of you in the distant echoes of your mind in a buried memory <laughs> has heard that voice before. And when you see the spot Ralzman left behind, the air there is still whirling, the planar boundary disrupted. What do you do? You've only used one action. We're jumping in it. Okay. You're, you're going to run towards it? Yeah. Okay. Can John reach forward and try and grab a in his hand as she's running towards that portal? You can try. I mean, okay, can, can we all try. come? <laughs> Asena, you can use your astral powers to reach in and stabilize it so everyone can go through if you want. Oh, okay. Is that what you want to do? Yeah. Yeah, I'll run, okay. run over to it and see if I can push it open so that way everyone has enough time. Yeah, it feels the same way that it does when you push yourself out of an astral conduit. It's as if an astral conduit has opened here from impossibly far away, but you reach out the silver light that has been shining from you as you wield the power of Goltharius, reaches into space itself and tears apart a dark curtain leading to unfathomable distances. We are not letting him get away. Damn right. Do you... We're going to take him down. And who's with him? You know, normally, Asena, I am not for just jumping into random portals that you somehow are able to destabilize and use to your own whim. But in this case, Razalmon has to die. So wherever he's going, we're going to follow. It's going to be fine. I've been here before. It's fun. What? How could you? And John gets shunted through the portal. <laughs> Our heroes plunge into the darkness with victory just snatched from their hands. Their nemesis at last defeated his tether to this world shattered, but that left him vulnerable to a hand from another world that pulled him through. And our heroes will continue the hunt for Ralzamon to drive him out, find out who has taken him and defeat him once and for all as our crossover with D20 Deathmatch begins next week. And our heroes travel to the Dread Fortress to hunt him down in the wake of the Arbiter and the Grandmaster. G, G, everybody. That was fun. That was amazing. That was crazy. Yeah. yeah. That was a boss battle. I well rolled done, so mate. many 20s. You, know, you rolled you so many high. 20s. It was ridiculous. <laughs> that was unfathomable. And it was amazing. I mean, that finisher, the holding the crystal and punching his actual form. <laughs> With a natural 20. I mean, that was fake. That's what the game's all about. I just wish he was dead. <laughs> but he will be so dead. So here's, here, well, no, actually, I'll explain what happened next week. Because you killed him. What? You killed him, but there are other factors at work, as we are about to find out. Uh, but yeah, next week, here uh, at 6 p.m. Pacific, right here on Casters and Castles, and co-streamed over to D20 Deathmatch, our crossover, Fate of the Faithful, is going to start. We've been planning this for a while. It's going to be a ton of fun. Uh, thank you, chat, for chipping in and making this boss battle absolutely epic. This is the kind of crap I have to pull to deal with you guys. Yeah. Like, this, this is the absolute nonsense I have to pull out of my hat. Um, I was going to be at zero HP. When was the last time you were at zero HP? It has not happened. Never? Uh, earlier even, like, earlier early this session. Episodes? Mm -mm. Uh, the last time you were at zero was when uh, <laughs> gnomes dropped 
way too many ninjas, ninjas on us. Ninjas. That was the only time it ever happened. That's right. Everybody dropped to the ninjas. And John had to use a circle of death on them. It was the first <laughs> time John pulled out high level magic during our campaign. But that was literally the only time. So, yeah. The but I don't evils. think that we got to zero. Like, I think you did that to prevent the zero. Consult the VOD. Somebody consult the consult VOD. Consult the VOD. <laughs> yeah, all the Elder Evils are going to be like this. Enjoy. Oh, good. Yeah, Wonderful. En enjoy. But you guys can do this sort of stuff. You're ridiculous. And the power of Streamless compels you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. Same time next week? Yeah, yeah. Why, why not? Fantastic. All right, everybody. We will see you with D20 Deathmatch slash Casters and Castles, Fate of the Faithful.